Hello and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to take a look at some Subosin uh, hardness tester files. And these things are super handy to have around the shop because you can kind of get an idea how hard something is that you're working with. Um, you can use that to know what tools you need to try and shape things or what you need to do to try and cut things or whatever. I mean, there's there's a whole lot of stuff that you can use these things for. Uh, we're going to use them for testing tools to see what kind of finishes they have and, and what have you. One of the commenters made a comment about the uh, flush cutter face off and uh, if you didn't see any of that, check it out up here. Uh, but they made a comment that they thought the clines were hardened and if they are, that might give them a little bit of a edge as it were. Uh, but regardless, uh, we should be able to clear some of that up with this. So let's take a look at it. And really all it is, is a bunch of files. And the files work with, um, I believe it's Rockwell. And Rockwell is a hardness gauge. Um, I don't know why it's HRC. I believe it's Rockwell hardness something. I, I don't really know off the top of my head. But uh, basically the higher the number, the harder the steel and in some instances the better in others maybe you don't want it so hard because the trade-off is it can become brittle so harder not always better but in most cases a little bit of hardness is uh it's what you're going for so anyway let's uh let's take a look at these and what we should be able to do is we got a random piece of aluminum here and we got the lightest one we should easily be able to scratch across that you can see that there we did that's not overly surprising let's take out this old Williams lining pin here with a pry bar on it and I think this pry bar end might be hardened but I don't know that the handle is so let's see here yeah I've let's see here let me go where there's some scale. There, you can see we definitely scraped into it there. So that's probably, it wasn't super easy that it dug in, so that's probably right around 40 Rockwell. And let's see here now at this area. I don't know if you can hear that. It's just kind of gliding over it. So that's definitely harder than 40. And we'll just go up the scale. Let's try 45. It's got a little bit more grab, but it's still not really grabbing in. I think you could hear it was sliding. Let's see here. So 50, as I hit the camera, 50 seems to be starting to get a bite. And that sounds about right. Yeah, we're getting a bite in that on 50. So this is about 50. I think at this end we'll see about the same. Yeah, it's digging in. And I can feel resistance when I'm pushing on this. So that's that's a difference there. So that's about 50. And then what we'll try here is one of these fancy premium screwdriver thingamajigs that I picked up at some place. Um, let's see what that does here. Oh yeah, that just skates. That just skates. Still skating. That was 55. Let's try 60. I would expect it to be somewhere around here. I think I'm starting to get a bite on it. Which is surprising. They got that pretty hard. Yeah, we're starting to put some scratches in it, but it's not really digging in. And this will probably get into it. Oh, yeah. Yep. There, we definitely got some scratches in it. So, it's somewhere between 60 and 65, which is pretty hard, really. That's a pretty impressive piece of kit there. So, that's a pretty heavy-duty screwdriver. And um, 
that is a good thing to use to show how this works. So somewhere around 50 for this, somewhere around 40 for the handle, and somewhere just above 60 for the tip of this. So that's as easy as these things work. They're really not that mysterious. It's a file that if you can scratch something up, you figured out how hard it is loosely so hope this was interesting they're kind of neat tools that I never really had that I didn't really think I needed but like any tool eventually you're gonna need it so we got them here and we're gonna try them out with some of the other stuff uh, we got coming up hardness will be part of our test and then we can compare products maybe a little bit better for people to see what the better value is because won't dispute if a cutting edge is harder than another one it's going to last longer so we'll find out so i hope this was interesting uh just a quick look at these very interesting tool kind of a unique thing if you're a machinist you're saying yeah i use them all the time but a lot of guys don't really have them in the shop so um at any rate I hope you enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.